We're going to use our TI-84 calculator to help us find random numbers. And to do that, we will go under the math function just below alpha. And then we will scroll to the right to PRB for probability. And then we're going to use the randint function because we want to find random integers. And that's option 5. And this function takes in the minimum value that we're looking for, the maximum value that we're looking for, and the amount of random integers we want our calculator to generate. In this particular case, we're looking to generate 10 random numbers between 1 and 1,000, so our minimum number will be 1, and then we'll put a comma. Our maximum number will be 1,000, and then we'll put a comma. And we want to generate 10 numbers. We want our calculator to give us 10 random numbers. So our last entry will be 10, close parenthesis, and enter. And then our calculator gives us 10 random numbers. We can't see but the first three in full, but if we use our right arrow key, we will be able to scroll and see all of the values. We can go ahead and write down 799-952-221, and then as we scroll, we can write down the other numbers, 370, 8, 936, 109, 7, 549, and 856. If you did this same function, you would get a different answer than I just got because your calculator is giving you random numbers, completely at random. As a matter of fact, if we did the same function again, which we can repeat by doing the function second and then entry, which will give us the previous entry that we've done, I can just repeat it and I get 10 different numbers. 978, 279, 276, and if I keep scrolling, I can see the rest of those as well. So this is how your calculator is giving you 10 random numbers between 1 and 1,000. You could have it generate any random integers that you wanted simply by changing the values in the minimum and the maximum.